Hey everyone, I am 30 weeks and one day pregnant today. Yay! I feel like um, I've passed a somewhat major milestone uh, <clears throat> number of weeks, even though it's not a major milestone in terms of a trimester. So, so now the, my baby will definitely be here within, you know, like 11 weeks tops, really. Um, it's hard to wrap my mind around, and uh, <clears throat> I think it's one of those things that's, you know, just not going to hit me until it happens. So, yeah, we'll see how quickly or how slowly these next ten or so weeks go. Um, I know I made my last video a little bit less than a week ago, but I want to try to keep out of the habit of making videos too late. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I just got back, um, with my husband. We went to see a movie, um, again. We went to go see, um, the new X-Men, which was fun. Um, yeah, my husband and I try to have a date night, like, uh, once a week. Um, it's raining today. It's been a very, very rainy summer so far, uh, here, which... I honestly really don't mind. I'd rather it be cool and wet than bright and blazing hot. That's uh, just the way I am. Uh, kind of odd for someone from LA, but I'm not a huge fan of hot weather. Um, and I especially now that I'm pregnant, I really don't deal with heat well in any capacity, really. Um, so I'm grateful for the cooler weather. I was really worried that I would be super miserable this summer being, you know, heavily pregnant and the heat and everything. Um, but I might be speaking too soon and it could start being really, really hot, you know, from tomorrow on. But hopefully that won't happen. Um, let's see what's been happening. Um, as far as fetal movement, it's he's been pretty much the same. He has days where he's really, really active, and then days where he's quiet. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still sleeping really, really well, um, and I'm so hoping that'll last a bit longer, because I'm trying to enjoy my sleep while I still have it, because once he's here, I know I'm not going to be sleeping very much, because, you know, crying newborn, and I'm planning to breastfeed on demand. <sighs> um... Yeah, I've been watching what I eat a little bit more as I've um, put on too much weight and I'm feeling a bit better already. Um, I'm definitely not trying to lose weight or anything because that's not healthy to do during pregnancy, obviously. I'm just trying to uh, um, keep what I eat, you know, as reasonable as possible and I think it's it's getting a bit better. Um, I'm keeping a food diary so I can, you know, keep track of what I'm eating throughout the day and it keeps me accountable for what I put in my mouth so, you know, every time I go to the kitchen to get something I actually have to think, okay, why am I here? Do I really need to eat something right now? Am I hungry? Or am I just bored? Or, uh, eating for the sake of it. Um, so yeah, that's good. I still haven't weighed myself. Um, I just... Yeah, it'll drive me nuts. I know I'll be able to get back into shape and to a uh, weight where I'm happy after the pregnancy, so I don't really see a point in um, beating myself up about my weight, you know, the numbers on the scale. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, the numbers on the scale in the end. Um, at this point, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm almost at the end of the pregnancy, and I've gained what I've gained, and I've tried to remain fairly active, and, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I am planning on going on, um, Weight Watchers afterward. Um, before I was pregnant, um, I was at a weight where I was pretty happy, and I was using Weight Watchers to maintain, and it was really working well for me. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go on it. Uh, properly after I have the baby, and that'll be that'll be good, and hopefully, um, I'll be at my goal weight within uh, 
yeah, a year. I'm giving myself a year to get where I want to be. Um, so that's my plan for <laughs> thinking ahead a little bit. I don't know. Um, what else is happening? Um, yeah, I'm, you know, really hoping things work out with my parents flying out from California to be here for the birth and spend a little bit of time with, with me, my husband, and the baby afterward. Um, not worried about my dad or anything, um, but my mom is a speech pathologist and she works for the school district and school starts up again just, you know, like a week, a little over a week after my estimated due date and, you know, there could be quite a bit of conflict there in scheduling and I'm just, you know, really hoping that it works out and that my mom doesn't have to miss, you know, the beginning of the school year and miss any work for my sake. That would make me feel really, really terrible. And I told her that, um, but she's insisting that it'll be okay. So we'll just have to go with the flow and hope that it will be okay. I'm really excited to have my parents out here and my mom's mom is coming out as well, which is a big deal. Um, she's 82, little Romanian lady, um, and you know, flying is not easy when you get older. And, it's a very long flight. Uh, she lives in California too. It's like an 11 an hour flight. So I feel uh, very, very grateful that she wants to come out. Um, yeah, it'll be amazing. Um, getting ready for some other visitors too later on in the year. I know um, around Halloween, um, one of my best friends is planning to come out. Um, she was one of my bridesmaids. And then around the same time of year, my best friend is planning to come out to London, which will be really, really awesome. And then December, my husband and I with the baby are going to go to LA to visit everyone. Um, oh yeah, things I'm looking forward to. Kind of babbling a bit. What time is it? 7 minutes 30. Okay. Um, symptom-wise, had some heartburn, um, which is not a big deal, I just take a Tums or, um, there are some yoga exercises that help us with, with heartburn that I've been doing to keep that at bay. Um, I'm still tired, uh, I think that's just pretty much going to be something consistent for the rest of the pregnancy. Um, but, you know, if I keep active and do a little bit of activity every day, it tends to keep me from falling into a real slump. <clears throat> so I try to walk or, you know, do yoga and not just sit on the couch all day. Uh, however, I do have, you know, a day or two a week where I just can't get myself off the couch. Yesterday was like that and I just did, I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> yesterday, um, but, you know, I got out and had a good walk today, so that's good. Um, what else is happening? I've had a couple of headaches, um, which are really the only headaches I've had in this pregnancy so far, and I'm not too worried about them because my blood pressure has been consistently so low. Um, I have a midwife appointment coming up on the 27th of this month, and then when I'm 32 weeks I have another uh, ultrasound, and usually, at least here in the UK, women don't really have ultrasounds at 32 weeks, but um, I agreed to partake in some research, uh, so yeah, that's why I get an extra ultrasound, figured, you know, any way to help the medical community is good. I'll be a little lab rat. The past couple times I've gone for ultrasounds, make, you know, they take extra, <clears throat> extra data from me, and I hate having my blood pressure taken. Absolutely hate it. Um, or you know, when I started my nursing training and I learned how to take blood pressure, I was the worst partner to be with because I just, I'm such a baby about it. I don't know. I don't mind needles. 
you know, or anything like that. I have very high thresholds for pain, but I just hate having my blood pressure taken. <laughs> and, um, yeah, when I go into my ultrasound, they put a cuff, a swig on each arm, and they take readings five times simultaneously without any, um, any breaks in between, and it's really uncomfortable. Um, they say they want to do it for the sake of accuracy so they can get an average, but the thing is, if you take someone's blood pressure more than once, each time you take it, their blood pressure will start to go down a bit just because of the decreased blood flow. So I don't understand how they're getting a more accurate reading because the reading is just going to be lower and lower every time. But anyway, that's a total tangent. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to have another ultrasound and you know, have another chance to see the baby. And uh, I think that's about it, you guys. Oh yeah, so I have a stretch mark that happened. Um, it's tiny and it's right over one of the holes in my, uh, for my belly ring. And I took my belly ring out weeks ago to avoid um, too much stretching. And I think it's really helped. But I have a little stretch mark like that big just coming out from the top hole. And, you know, I don't really care. Uh, stretch marks aren't something that bother me whatsoever. I have a bunch of them from puberty and just, you know, you know, having trouble maintaining my weight throughout, you know, many years of my life. So, uh, yeah, they don't bug me. They fade so quickly. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll do a belly shot. I'll do a live action one because I haven't done a live one in a while. And, yeah, that's all. Oh, I'm going to the dentist tomorrow, because um, here when you're pregnant, you get free dental care while you're pregnant and up until your baby turns one. So I'm taking advantage of that. Okay, so I'll show you guys the belly. Okay, I hope you guys can see. Sorry, my boobs. My dress has a hole. Uh, this is not a maternity dress. This is a dress that I had from when I was uh, really, really overweight, and now it fits perfectly as a maternity dress, if you can see from the side. Yeah, 30 weeks in one day. One side. The other side. It's probably too bright, but yeah, I have... There's the hole for my belly ring. And the stretch mark is just right in there, I guess it's kind of between the, yeah, it's between the top hole and the bottom hole right there. It's, yeah, I'm too white, too thick to, yeah, bump. There he is. I will see you guys for 31 weeks. Bye.